So here what we're going to do is, instead of running what most of y'all probably used to, a typical three or four or even six jaw chuck, we're going to run a collet chuck. And uh, this is uh, basically the same thing that's up in, that's in the mill, but we're going to run it in our lathe. It's very, very, very precise in, you know, compared to an adjustable chuck. And so the way it's set up, you've got different collets the same way, and this is the pins that we're going to be machining down. And so these collet systems are very, very, very precise. So what I'm going to do here, first and foremost, is answer the phone. <laughs> now, answered the phone. So, <clears throat> go ahead and, and if you guys are messing with any of this stuff or you get it, always make sure that you clean out your mating surfaces on your chucks, your collets, things like that, your threads. Keep that stuff clean. Not only will it, you know, it'll help you to have everything stay concentric and precise, but the other thing is, is that it'll make your stuff last longer. Uh, the last thing in the world you want is to wear out your threads, you know, tear up your tooling and everything because you're lazy. So, that's kind of the ins and outs there. So, back that off a little bit. I want to have as much of this sticking out as I can. But, you know, you got to make sure that you got enough to hold. That's why I got these fairly long. They don't have to be long to work in the in their where their home's going to be. If you look at these pins that you get, normally you'll have one end that is more rounded and one end that is more squared off. We're going with the squared off end, which will probably pull enough material off of these that it won't matter, but for this situation, I want a more squared off end down in where it's going to go. So, what we'll do here, I'll set that once I have my tooling on so I can gauge how far in or out I need it. So it occurred to me that I needed a uh, tool post grinder. So I took my rotary tool and which right down here is the pedal for it. And now I have it chucked up in my lathe. And what that is, is a uh, boring attachment for a boring bar. I'll show you one that's similar. See, this is, this is one that's similar. And uh, it's for running a boring bar into. And it just so happened that it worked perfectly with the flex shaft on this moto tool, or roto tool, or whatever you want to call it. So, what that's going to allow me to do is on this hardened, these hardened pins, it's very hard to just do a severance cut with a, you know, cut off tool or blade or, or whatever. So, or a partitioning, sorry, partitioning blade. Anyways, so we're going to use this roto tool on it and it is going to allow us to do exactly what we want to do. It cuts really, really thin. And so I've got it zeroed on the back side of my cutting tool there, cutting wheel. And I know how far in I want to go. And so I'll move it, I'll zero it out to the point where I want to cut to. And this is on the back side of the cutting wheel. There we go. So what we'll do is spin this backwards at 600 RPM.
something's acting a little weird with it. Let's see. For some reason, it's acting a little strange. Not quite sure what it is. Might be the wheel that's on there. It's the first time I've tried to use it, so it uh, doesn't surprise me if it's acting a little weird. But that's how you figure stuff out. You work through it. Could just be that it's a really, really hard pin, and I need to put a better blade in, better disc. Maybe we'll try that. We'll run a new disc on it and go from there. Let's see how this does now. Until that happens, <laughs> I'm at to work on my arbors and stuff. But the uh, concept is good, so we'll keep on working on that. All right, I finally got this guy all tuned out and working right, so we'll finish up this cut. This is the last one. I mean, move the camera here just a touch. I'm trying to work around this tripod. Spin it the opposite direction. It needs to go there. And let me move here. We got camera tripod and weigh in my controls. There we go. All right. My uh, shaft has seen better days. So every once in a while you may hear a noise. It sounds odd. I just hit the back off the pedal for a second and let it straighten itself out. But that's because I've got a knockoff moto tool, not because of what I'm doing with the lathe here. And I'm not feeding real fast because I don't want to bind that cutoff wheel up and break it. I'd rather just go slow and not have to change it out. Right down there it is. Teeny tiny. This is the fourth one I made. And it's really nice because I can hold hold it to whatever specs I want. Uh been pretty impressed with how this has worked so far. Quite proud of it. 
got a little nipple on it I'm going to remove. Remove the nipple. So I don't know if you can see, it's got just a little bit of a nipple on there. So. Remove it. I didn't even need to remove it all, just had to get the tip of it off of there. Yeah. <laughs>